Hey guys, my name is Akhil Kothari and welcome to Scene Kya Hai. I'm 24 years old, based out of Delhi. I run a startup which makes healthy chips and cookies. I've always been interested in business, politics and culture and I've always wanted to start a podcast on YouTube but have been very camera shy. But this time I decided I have to do this. From this podcast, you can expect short form and long form episodes with entrepreneurs discussing about their business, their journey, struggles, learnings and a whole lot more. We will also be doing few episodes related to politics and culture which I am truly very excited about. I hope you get to learn from these conversations like I did. Been a little underconfident in the first few episodes so bear with me through these initial hiccups as I learn the art of podcasting. Please like, share, subscribe and drop in a comment. Hit the bell icon so you get to know as soon as a new episode releases. Thanks guys, let's do this. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Scene Kya Hai. Uh, today we have Mr. Praneet Sahai from Unbundle to talk about the world of branding and online advertisements. So good to have you on the episode Thank today. You. Thank you, Akhil. So tell me something about like about your background, the company that you run, Unbundle. What do you do? All right. So Unbundle is a digital growth agency, and we work very closely with some of the greatest D2C brands to help them grow towards as a brand uh, in the sense of improving their branding, improving their UI UX, as well as managing their online advertising, social medias. Okay. So all of these things uh, come together now, and they help scale a brand in today's world. That's true. Uh, even if you want to scale in the offline space, you kind of need an online presence. For sure. So these kind of things help. What What, what do you think? Why do you think branding has become so important, especially in the after you know the whole age of tech and the digital world? Why has it become even more important for companies to have that presence? See, I would say uh, branding was always important. Uh, in today's world, basically everybody is realizing how important it is to associate um, something uh, that holds them together. So branding is basically a structure that holds the whole uh, brand, its uh, assets, its um, uh, um, vision, mission all together. So if you want to grow, uh, how do you associate with the people that you uh, want to basically buy your products or buy your services? Uh, why should they come to you? How, how do you build that community? Hmm. So everything falls under that structure. Okay. And that is what branding holds together. Now, it's not about just the color. It's not about just the font. It's how you speak, the tonality. The uh, story. The story. Yeah, exactly. talk about selling the story. Exactly. You, yeah. you kind of need to sell the story. Uh, then uh, how do you bind all that together to a community? Now, why do a lot of people who love a certain brand, say, for example, take Apple. It's a love mark. Yeah. It, it, it stands in a position that if somebody owns an Apple device, it's going to, or say, Royal Enfield. Yeah. people are going to go back to it yeah. so they also fight for the fight for it i uh, use a samsung and if i talk to someone who uses an apple they'll fight over exactly apple, exactly yeah. so it's become a love mark it's the highest uh, point of achieving a good branding hmm. wherein you associate your product your community the people their feedback everything in one place and share the message what people want to hear <laughs> so that is what it does Mm-hmm. Uh, there are very small nuances as well as big ones. If I talk about the small ones, why does Apple just use white and black? It mm-hmm. makes it look elite. It makes you want it more. Mm-hmm. Uh, Red Bull as a brand portrays uh, uh, adventure. Exactly. They don't sell you the drink. Yeah, they, they sell, sell you, you the adventure, adventure right? Yeah. What comes along with it. So mm-hmm. uh, this is what branding does. Hmm. And that's why it's so important in it is. today's day and age because people do relate to a certain kind of a thing that is being shown. For exactly. Sure. If I talk about Delhi, you go to a QSR or or you go to a good uh, restaurant in CP right now. Um, each of them have their own theme. That theme revolves with that branding altogether. For sure. For right. Sure. So uh, how do you if somebody is coming in uh, in a restaurant like Delhi Heights, how do you they, how do you give them that experience that you want to portray with the food, with the ambience, with the greed, with everything. Mm-hmm. So, and everything has to match across all its touch points. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, how also how important is social media in the soul branding zone? The power is the power of social media. It can change people's minds, yeah. perspectives, yeah. literally everything. I'd say uh, now it is so much intertwined that you can't even leave it out. Uh, Social media, what it has done is that it has made everybody, every individual human being, as well as a brand, its own PR. Earlier, um, 
you had to go out find a pr firm help you get uh, placements in the news or billboards etc now you can have your own social media page uh, your youtube page your facebook instagram tiktok etc and be your own pr you don't need to rely on someone exactly and you control your environment mm. so these have become so intertwined in the lives of uh, people like us uh, who have their smartphones always in front of them that you are always going through it oh, so, sure. <laughs> so why why do i miss those eyeballs right why i i don't want to as a brand or as an individual if i i have anything to gain from it i don't want to miss those eyeballs hmm. and attention is actually the new currency so <laughs> actually th- th- that that is hence i i want to be placed everywhere this is one key place because on an average say if i take a millennial uh, or somebody in the 18 to 25 kind of an age uh, they are spending almost 4 hours daily in front of their smartphone yeah, even i am for sure maybe more <laughs> yeah exactly and um, i know i own an ios and it gives me a notification at the end of every week that you spent uh, 10% more from last week and i'm always spending more from last <laughs> week <laughs> so if i am doing that there are a lot more people like me who are doing that for sure hmm. one thing that i'm uh, one more question what do you think is more uh, important in today's day and age facebook or instagram uh right now instagram uh, specifically instagram reels um uh, they uh, similarly youtube shorts is something i would talk about facebook is something if you want to target an audience who is a decision maker in the age of above 35 40 then you use you facebook. use facebook uh but its organic reach is dead so uh the pages are only there to advertise they're not there anymore to have an organic reach but mm-hmm. if you have an instagram page you still have some amount of organic reach left you can use the advertising structure to reach out more but then if you're targeting a younger gen uh, 18 plus kind of an audience uh, up to 35 40 instagram is the go to place right now but why do you still see more views on facebook videos than instagram uh it's not necessary it's basically what is being shown to you ha ha exactly so <laughs> it uh, i don't believe that fact uh if you what is happening is uh, the world is moving towards a short format video 15 sure. seconds is something that because we don't have time exactly. time span is very less exactly though. so scroll it and they are not showing you the views on uh, those accurate views maybe on reels etc or you are not seeing those reels um uh, but if you look at that short format video till the time uh, tiktok was there in india it took up everything for sure uh, it was what reels is exactly not. and uh, i think globally it's still bigger than reels uh TikTok. i don't know the exact yes uh, i i don't know the exact numbers but if you compare the formats it's still bigger i believe uh mm-hmm. from what i hear and what i read uh youtube shorts is the next best thing uh they were not monetizing it uh today morning i was in a meeting with google and they are they are going to monetize it and they've started monetizing youtube shorts now okay, okay. so you can actually advertise on youtube shorts is this because shorts. reels is also getting monetized absolutely of course the, see um uh, the once snap came up with the story structure that you post a story and it, it it'll be gone after 24, 24 hours. hours everybody did even twitter did even, even facebook everybody. facebook youtube everybody did so reels is something that say uh, tiktok introduced or musically actually did before uh, tiktok before tiktok yeah. and then came in uh, instagram facebook uh, everybody wants it uh, <laughs> so shorts so this format is something across the social media industry everybody is going to pick it up sooner or later the yeah, short video format exactly coming to you saying that this is what was being shown to me mm-hmm. something that i'm very interested in which i've spoken to you about earlier as well is kaise hota hai ki mujhe ye dikhaya jata hai jo main dekhna chahta hu sorry um so what i want to know the whole structure yeah so i'll i'll break down the structure in a manner that uh, everybody also understands i think you you are technically savvy so you do understand quite a lot uh, what's uh-huh. going behind the scenes um, every website uh, in today's date has something called a facebook pixel or a google uh, tracking code uh, okay. or some or the other tracking code this tracking code is accumulating hashed or encrypted data at the back end now every individual who has an id on instagram or facebook they ideally have um, a unique identifier now i could be x123 and you could be x345 uh-huh. this is how facebook identifies us at the back end and has attributes laid to us based on the profile that i created uh, the pages i like the kind of content i consume yeah my internet profile exactly and then there are advertisers or businesses who are putting in a pixel at the back end of their website and uh, showing ads on these platforms now see for the first time we are looking at those ads and we land on a website 
that pixel exactly knows that this, this encrypted X1234 or X345 came on the website, looked up this product, uh, but jumped off. Hmm. And it matches back that data. It doesn't give the advertiser the unique identifier of that person. Okay. It doesn't tell you who that person is. But it tells you that, okay, this person came in, saw uh, the product. Uh, X person came in, saw, uh, saw the, the product, product and just jumped, jumped off. off. Now, I know that somebody came in, they saw, and Facebook knows who's that person. So why can't I retarget that? Huh. Why can't I go after the life of that person and actually retarget that person that, oh, you saw the product. I don't know who you are, but you saw the product. Uh, you liked it. You saw it for 10 seconds more than everybody else. So why don't you go and buy it? Add it to cart. Why sure. don't you complete the purchase? I'll give you 5% off. Go ahead. complete. Uh-huh. So this is what you see. This is uh, emails are an uh, additional part to this. WhatsApp has come into play. They're retargeting you with abandoned checkouts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is just Facebook is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Similarly, you can do it with Google. Google. Uh, there are other platforms like uh, Critio, Tabula, Outbrain, Programmatics. I mean, th- the list is endless. Mm. So this uh, Facebook and Instagram and Google for us D2C are some of the earliest, fastest platforms to jump on because they are cheap. Honestly, they still are cheap. Mm-hmm. Uh, as compared to if you go and buy a billboard. Of course. Right? You cannot attribute anything. You can attribute something to this. Your reach is also more with this. I mean, you're reaching to... to you have numbers here. I, you don't have numbers with a billboard. billboard. Right? You, you oh. still have numbers that you have reached these many people. Uh, you, these are This is a unique reach and this is your impression rate. You don't get it with a billboard. But uh-huh. uh, I think uh, comparatively, it's cheap. Uh, it is getting expensive. Uh, things are changing in the pace uh, with the pace of the world but uh, absolutely it's still the go-to place as a D2C brand and then uh, once you start getting some scale you figure out the other platforms hmm. so my next question in rela- relation to this, uh, this only is you said you know that a uh, character is created of us and then we are targeted hmm. by ads again and again don't you think this is beyond a point it becomes actually dangerous to like this means everything that we are doing on social media is tracked and someone or the other in the world knows ki akhil kothari or so and so person likes this likes this likes this like this was on this website was doing this on this website for so long don't you think after an extent it becomes dangerous and also governments all around the world uh, do do want this data Oh, absolutely. So, absolutely. So, what you are saying is absolutely right, and uh, I think some of it we should be scared that a lot of our data, more than we know, is there with the platforms. Uh, they know my emails. They are reading through my statements. They know my spend behavior. To uh, they can actually estimate with a very close uh, uh, proximity that what I am about to purchase next. So, this is what people are trying to gun for, and. Amazon itself says that one day we will be able to do that. Before you want the thing, we would have it ready and packed for you. <laughs> so the, the, the predictive Insane. analytics is something that the world is after. This is scary to the extent that yes, uh, governments do want it. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if you remember Cambridge Analytica fiasco that yeah, happened. Yeah, of course, the of Trump course. Time. Trump times. Man. Exactly. So. Uh, on Netflix pe kuch documentary. documentary hai, so wo, wo scary hai. We should be scared. To be honest, nobody gives a shit. Nobody does. Honestly, I don't know what you have done. I don't know what you have done. I don't know what you have done. So, I don't know what you have done. So, level of addiction. Hai na, exactly. The dopamine release in your brain mein hai, usko scroll karke, is more than uh, you being scared of uh, your data going out. You think it's not harmful. I, up to say certain platforms, it may not be. They don't have the intent to, but can it be used? 100%. I mean, uh, apps like just, just stopping you. There's the signal app now which says ki we don't track, or is it actually true that they don't? So, <coughs> sorry. Uh, some of them claim, I am not 100% sure you'll have to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we kind of have to trust the word that they say. Uh, the messages are encrypted. Even WhatsApp does say that the messages exactly. are encrypted. But at times, I know friends and people who say that I had a chat about shoes with my friend and I'm seeing it an ad related yes, to shoes. This has happened with me as well. I'm sure it has happened with so many people. So many, exactly. So you don't know the extent to which it is. They claim it and they 
push for it again and again maybe it is and this is something else playing with us uh, you don't know but if i talk about apps like signal or telegram etc they want to be in the place of encryption and they don't uh, they want to go to the down that path exactly so i i sometimes i do believe that yes signal what it's saying is true uh, they might not be tracking you but now even the ios structure if you see they are taking your permission to let apps track you Hmm. so you get a notification this is what happened with the advertising industry what killed it uh, so the digital advertising industry ios 14.5 was an ads killer because okay. uh, ios 14.5 was asking every app had to ask this question that allow uh, this app to track me and you can choose not to by default it's off okay so now face why did facebook ad ads or instagram ads start to die uh, after the 14.5 uh, because people update? said no yes everybody said no they hardly 5% of the population said yes oh why would someone want exactly to get so tracked? and by default it's off people don't care right i am not going to go and turn it on manually i don't you still have that somewhat fear in your heart of that you're being tracked of course so you're not going to do it yourself if it's already on it is in the favor of that brand i'm yeah for sure i mean if there's something that i want to search online which is uh, for example taboo if i have to use that word i i i am scared that you know someone's watching over me me typing about this on whatever google or exactly. instagram that that fear is always there so you can't ignore it uh, you can't ignore that platform because it's become an integral part of your life uh, but yes this is happening that you are being tracked by someone or the other and uh, they might try to sell you they try so what does advertising do it tries to change behavior this was happening earlier also uh, why did the industry of olive oil come into existence when it wasn't there we were using uh, those normal sunflower seed oils wow. etc it was a marketing gimmick uh, changes consumer behavior exactly and it started from the doctors or the dietitians or the nutritionists uh, being a part of it and assisting in that uh, the advertisers the brands coming in uh, the medical societies and it, it created such a huge industry which wasn't uh, existing exactly so, i mean same situation with i guess maggi okay. they promoted it as quick and you know aapko bachcha thaka hua ghar pe aaya aur fatafat mein 2 minute mein maggi bana taste bhi health bhi kya healthy hai usme are jitna namak usme aap pure din mein <laughs> exactly ab batao उसको पूरा मार्केटिंग गेम है अगेन द रोल द द पावर ऑफ ब्रांडिंग एंड एग्जैक्टली ब्रांडिंग मार्केटिंग चेंजिंग योर साइकी बिहेवियर इट हैज एक्चुअली चेंज योर बिहेवियर व्हेन यू आर टायर्ड यू स्टिल वांट टू ईट समथिंग यू विल गो एंड हैव मैगी या ठीक है हेल्दी स्नैक्स के नाम पे स्टिल फ्राइड चीजें मिलती हैं यू जस्ट डोंट नो दैट क्योंकि वो हेल्दी नो एमएसजी को हेल्दी बोल देते हैं हां बिल्कुल सही बात है वो फ्राई कर रहे हैं वो उसको पाम ऑयल की जगह किसी कोल्ड प्रेस किसी ऑयल में फ्राई कर देंगे और बोल देंगे हेल्दी है एग्जैक्टली मार्केटिंग गिमिक है द रोल ऑफ ब्रांडिंग बट ऑल्सो आई फील समवेयर चेंजिंग कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर इज वन थिंग बट आई थिंक द अदर साइड ऑफ ऑल दिस इज दैट इट्स एक्चुअली हेल्पिंग यू ऑल्सो टू मेक अ क्विक परचेज इफ इफ आई लोकेटेड इन दैट वे कि यू नो मैंने कुछ कुछ चीज सोच रहा हूँ या मैंने सर्च करी अब मुझे उसके इतने सारे एड्स आ गए कि मेरे लिए वो चीज़ ढूंढनी आसान हो गई होता है दैट यू स्टार्ट गेटिंग मोर ऑप्शन आपने देखे ही नहीं थे हाँ दिस इज वॉट इज हेल्पिंग द ब्रांड्स एग्जैक्टली कि ओके आई स्टिल गेट अ व्यू वैन एक्चुअली नो बडी यूज सर्चिंग फॉर मी माई प्रोडक्ट और द कैटेगरी डिड इट फॉर मी नाउ इफ यू गो टू एमेजॉन एंड यू सर्च फॉर से एनी वर्जिन कोकोनट ऑयल देर आर ब्रांड्स यू हैव नेवर हर्ड ऑफ बट देर आर टाइम्स यू माइट एंड अपंग बाइंग द फॉर श्योर नाउ वहाँ पर रिव्यूज आर प्लेइंग द पार्ट ठीक है और द इमेजरी इज Uh, they are not advertising to you maybe they are but if they are not then also you might go and search for the same product across the whole page huh. you might end up buying from a brand you've never heard, heard of. of and this is what they are all, there are certain brands who are waiting for that ha huh. right so th- there are different routes to take how uh, fast you want to scale how better you want to scale or how actually do you want to scale huh. there are people or brands that are happy with say 2 uh, crores a year sale and uh, they are happy content making a profit they fine with it uh, they want don't want to get into this much much exactly right? this whole world that you have to first understand and then exactly uh, but uh, so that's okay that's absolutely fine to do hmm. uh, but then there are people who want to take up the whole category so uh, they are talking about taking a 10% chunk of a certain category which is huge 
exactly right and then when you want to do that say for the fried snack segment i think haldiram has crossed lehar pepsi uh, in that category yes, alone yeah. so when they are doing that i mean they want to take up a whole chunk, chunk of, of the market exactly uh, i met someone recently the new shop guys they have these uh, new retail chain coming right, up right i've seen they also uh, their plan is uh, they are saying right now modern trade in india is 11% they are saying in us it is 84% यहाँ पे जनरल ट्रेड ज्यादा है वहाँ मॉडल तो वो कहते हैं कि जब जैसे जैसे मार्केट बढ़ रही है दे कुड बी अपवर्ड्स ऑफ वन लैक मॉडर्न ट्रेड स्टोर्स इन इंडिया दैट्स हाउ बिग द इंडियन मार्केट इज एंड दे वांट अ टेन परसेंट ऑफ दैट शेयर सो इमेजिन टेन थाउजेंड बिग बाजार है थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड स्टोर इमेजिन टेन थाउजेंड स्टोर एट वॉट स्केल दे आर लुकिंग एट वॉट यू थिंक ऑफ क्रेड्स ब्रांडिंग यू जो स्पोक वॉट ब्रांड इट आई लव इट so if you uh, talk about cred i love the app i love the ui i love the experience uh, what they're trying to build uh, what they've easily done is one they have created an elite class that's what they began with uh, 1% you, of the top market exactly so and and you need to have a 750 uh, credits uh, civil score. score then only you'll be invited Uh, else you want you can't join so basically there are only certain number of say about i think 30 million credit cards in india uh, how many of them would be having a 750 civil score so first of all you already have the cream you have the people who are going to pay their debts and everything then you have an impeccable ui that actually actually gets you hooked so you are playing games you are basically looking through products services they are mapping <coughs> sorry they are mapping uh, your purchase history they are mapping your spends uh, and based on that they can give you suggestions yeah if i talk about the branding they have just one word for it and they say download cred <laughs> Right. That's if, true. If you go to Gurgaon and see the billboards out there those large billboards just have two Download, colors. Yeah. Yeah, they have two words. Download and that, that's it just two colors black and white. जो साइबर अब से आगे जाते हैं वहां लगे हुए हैं बड़े बड़े बोर्ड्स आई आल्सो नोटिस्ड इट. So download cred is the only um call to action they have. That's absolutely perfect. You when you go ahead and sign up uh, so you're not confusing people. Look yeah. at that kind of a message. You're not confusing Simple. people. Exactly. Uh, their referral program is amazing. They pay you a lot for a referral, which would still be less than their actual customer acquisition good cost. Course. So uh, that's a good step. And then when you look at the UI, the structures, the sales, etc., that they do, I am somebody who opens up Cred every day when I go back home, because I know there's a 70% drop deal or something, and then they there are deals for Swiggy or I am I'm, I'm a crazy user of Swiggy, so. Uh, I'm, <laughs> so exactly so i'm just, i'm just waiting for that offer that okay today i'll get 45% off damn this is what i had to purchase and i'll complete that so they have uh, i i think my own open rates are so high uh, i am paying uh, for certain things via cred uh, if you see swiggy you use swiggy there's uh, you can pay via cred pay uh, you get additional percentage off etc so their integration is across the whole chain mm. they know my behavior based on the best behaviors they are partnering with the best suppliers huh. and at the back end so they know that average spending on a certain app is this high why can't we take a chunk of it <laughs> it's a, they're playing a very smart game and that valuation just i th- i think the valuation somewhat of it is actually justified, justified. yeah and especially with the unusual kind of ads that they are doing oh absolutely they are just attracting people to आप डाउनलोड करो तो देखो तो कि क्या है ये चीज एग्जैक्टली एंड कहीं ना कहीं क्यूरोसिटी है हाँ अदर्स वर ट्राइंग टू ऑलवेज पिगी बैक ऑन देयर ब्रांडिंग इफ यू सी वॉट मैजिक पेन ट्राई टू डू आफ्टर क्रेडिट देयर एड्स सो एवरीबडी ट्राइज टू पिगी बैक बिकॉज और द राहुल ट्रावेड एड अपना फोन मेरे हाथ में है और ये सबके साथ हुआ है बात भी करी है कि मैंने ये फोन यहाँ रख के अभी मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ किसी किड्स टॉय के बारे में राइट right. और मुझे अभी मैंने इसको गूगल पे सर्च भी नहीं करा राइट right. लेकिन उसका मेरे को ऐड आने लग गया तो ये क्या है ये क्या ये 
मतलब इट्स समथिंग दैट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एग्जैक्टली सो आर डिवाइसेस लिसनिंग टू अस इज इट ट्रू आई डोंट नो ऑनेस्टली आई 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 वांट टू बिलीव नो बट अ गुड पार्ट ऑफ मी सेज यस या बिकॉज़ यू हैव योर यू नो सिरी एंड अलेक्सा दे आर they are listening exactly. to you no? so uh, some of the brands like i know uh, apple tried to solve this problem even android devices some of them did that whenever a mic is on they will give you a notification at the top of your uh, notification right, bar that mic on hai so kuch koi na koi kuch na kuch sun sakta hai now uh, i don't know how true it is i just tend to believe that it is true and uh, i go along with it but th- not just you there are a lot of people who have seen this happen to them even i am one of those okay so uh now what can happen is that you are at a home wifi and you are not searching for shoes but your brother or sister is uh still possible that you can see the ads acha okay uh because the same network because the same network same ip a lot of things could be mapped back and they the way they try to target basically depends on that uh, do they use cookies or yes. this cookies only basically yes there's so. cookies uh the world is entering a cookie less format wherein okay. uh, now there won't be cookies and something else will be used to track you uh but the tracking won't stop <laughs> it won't stop you can't stop it anymore technology is uh one way or the other going to gather your data and if it's not like this i i still tend to so there are say 8 billion people uh out of those i think 50 60% of their uh, population has their data somewhere or the other of course so yeah. if there is a huge data bank across the world you can actually even uh map hashed data or encrypted data okay so Uh, somebody has your uh, has your credit history somebody has your bank history uh, they just need to match the id and you can have that collation of data so there are a lot many more ways possible just people are trying to find ways yeah, but data will data is as everyone says the new oil, oil absolutely i mean even we see so many people are in 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 delhi i am seeing so many people are renting out spaces making like a uh, building and putting data uh, centers center, making them data centers where all the data is being saved yeah. by companies and they are paying rent exactly to the land owner i mean so so much of this business has started happening you know? why do you think reliance is after uh, digital businesses now rather than or tata oh. is rather than just the oil business or the yeah. refinery because business. they know that this is what will exactly. matter yeah. exactly yeah data is very important very nice What do you think? Uh, one question related to customer acquisition cost, CAC. I want to ask you is, uh, you deal with a lot of companies who who are behind you. Ki yeah, reduce CAC, the reduce the CAC, reduce the CAC. Exactly. You have any tips in regards to the whole D two C channel of reducing costs and the kind of time that it takes to actually. actually reach that yeah, level. Yeah. You have any tips for anyone who's starting a D two C brand? Right. So, <coughs> um, so I'd say it is what before COVID. What it used to be that you could have a noob who uh, is maybe a late teenage or somebody out of college just starting into advertising, uh, play few tricks, do certain targeting, put on certain creatives, and run an ad and could get a sale. Uh, I don't think this is the case anymore because th- that was a hacked way of marketing mm. now the real marketing plays the role so what did the marketers uh, used to do before the facebook uh, fa- before facebook was there or instagram was there uh, it was a funnel approach and uh, it wasn't like you could just show an ad and sell yeah so you had to go through a whole structure where in first you will set up the distribution uh, then you will go ahead and show the billboards and then make it available across the nearest shop so somebody catches an eye you do the brand awareness then you make get the availability as well uh-huh. so today that era is back just in a different way you actually have to market brand and then uh, do the brand awareness across your brand so uh, uh, i'd say at a high good extensive pace that you showcase the brand but there are a lot many more who are trying to compete with you hmm. so first you showcase the brand do the awareness uh at a massive scale then retarget them and show them the product uh with at a consideration phase and then go and ask for their money okay so first somebody is going to understand okay do i even need this or how is it helping me so it's the whole funneling process exactly yeah. so it's not that um, the drop shipping world what it used to be is dead uh, to be honest i mean you can do some what of it but to be uh, profitable at scale it has become really difficult uh, people are aware of uh that product is available quickly amazons have done that so 
availability of the product then you have to have the brand awareness you have to have be in the consideration phase that okay should i go ahead and buy it or not and then suddenly give an offer and uh, see the, the customer customers right. can you explain me the funneling process of ads of course so uh, to be honest the way it works is basically uh, what it used to be before covid and what it is right now a lot of things have changed and uh, there is a lot of competition etc so now the way the funnel works is you set up the distribution so say if you're a d2c brand of today's day uh, you have you can deliver products anywhere using the right courier partners mm. so hey you ha- and you have the product at your warehouse so you have the distribution set up mm. now you do the brand awareness you explain the category of uh, the products that you have across uh, what you're trying to sell and you explain what the brand does mm. so you get your message out and then you come to the second part that's called the consideration wherein you make them feel that okay why do they need this <laughs> right is it solving a problem a purpose or something and then uh, the third part is the conversion wherein you offer the product uh, and if there's an offer with it you discount just, yeah, yeah. Uh, a discount or any other offer with it you showcase that so like nescafe did was uh, it used to do shows sponsor shows uh, create awareness about coffee uh then it used to show you the coffee uh, bottles away the free glass now you wanted it acha okay. right and then nescafe uh, glass was something that a lot of homes had yeah yeah right so <laughs> exactly so now that glass is also in front of you so that's the recall Hmm. Right. That 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 is what you have to create. Exactly. The recall is what you have to create in exactly. the whole process. So that recall is going to make you the second purchase. Hmm. <laughs> so this is how it's going to work. That brand awareness, consideration, conversion, and then the recall. Now this is what used to happen in the traditional marketing phase. Uh, say a brand like Sephora would go ahead, uh, set up the whole offline distribution, do the brand awareness via TV ads, commercials, billboards, and then. have the product available at your nearest store uh, store so you would go and see and then those stores also used to have branding hmm board sapola sponsor boards ho gaye danglers ho gaye exactly ho gaye so this is how the uh, perception 360 degree exactly. the whole so overall if you see in the 360 degree scenario the cac used to go down ha 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 this is the only agar aap seedha ja ke kisi ko bologe lo ji le lo then wo kahega bhai free mein de rahe ho to lunga nahi to main kyun kharchunga theek hai so बट क्या मुझे इसकी जरूरत भी है अब आप ये ऑयल कंज्यूम करते हो वो आपकी हेल्थ खराब कर रहा है जैसे नाउ यू कॉन्ट गो एड एंड से कि भाई क्या आपको डायबिटीज है बट इफ यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम समथिंग एंड इनडायरेक्टली आई टेल यू दैट यू नो दैट दिस इज वॉट द सोर्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज बट आई हैव दिस कंज्यूम इट वंस ओके जस्ट टेक इट फॉर फ्री फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सैम्पल इट इफ यू लाइक इट नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कैन बाई इट फ्रॉम योर नियर स्टोर सो you got the problem you had a solution you gave an offer and then uh, they'll go back and buy again people brands businesses tend to forget what a lifetime value is hmm over a period of a year or you have to have to get a second or a third or a fourth purchase is when you're actually going to make profits exactly yeah that's when your everything the whole cake is and all is going to come down yes what about being in the offline space as well jaise abhi aapne baat kari ki मैंने अपने फ़ोन पे ऐड देख लिया या पुराने टाइम पे टीवी पे ऐड देख लिया अब वो जब स्टोर पे जाओगे अगर अवेलेबल है आप खरीद लोगे एग्जैक्टली exactly. ऑनलाइन क्या है कि कन्वीनियंस हो गई है कि आप बैठे बैठे ही ऑर्डर कर रहे हो और आपको घर पे मिल रहा है right. लेकिन फिर भी क्या आपको नहीं लगता कि स्टोर प्रेजेंस भी इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज आई हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ डी टू सी ब्रांड्स बींग सो बिग इन द डी टू सी स्पेस बट स्टिल एग्जैक्टली आई थिंक एब्सोलूटली वन हंड्रेड परसेंट इंपॉर्टेंट है जो द वर्ल्ड इज टेंडिंग टू वर्ड्स एंड ओ टू ओ सो ऑनलाइन टू ऑफलाइन एंड बोथ वेज इट्स एन ओमनी चैनल प्रोसेस दट्स गोइंग ऑन दिस इज गोइंग टू हैपन दिस विल हैपन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द वे टू सर्वाइव इन द फ्यूचर सो ऑनलाइन प्रेजेंस अलोन इज स्टिल सर्वाइव ऑन से चीप ट्रैफिक फ्रॉम एस सी ओ और फेसबुक एड्स और गूगल एड्स विच इज नॉट दैट चीप एनी मोर इट एज कम्पेयर टू बिल बोर्ड्स इट इज बट एज कम्पेयर टू वॉट इट यूज टू बी टू ईयर्स अगो इट्स नॉट Mm-hmm. so uh, it is getting expensive it will keep on getting expensive as more and more advertisers brands get on board it's a bidding process mm-hmm. so uh, to be holistically available now say i am sitting at my home in delhi uh, i know a certain product could be available at a store nearby i and swiggy is something that's amazing so uh, i could or i could just ask uh, somebody to go ahead and get that product for me so convenience a lot of things are solving that Mm-hmm. balki nowadays i am not ready to wait for 3 days to get a product delivered to me 
अनलेस इट इज समथिंग स्पेशली एंड ओनली मेड इन से मुंबई और मिठाई मेड इन मुंबई और यू कैन वेट फॉर आई कैन वेट फॉर बट जनरल ग्रोसरी आइटम या और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट यू वांट देम राइट इफ इफ द चॉइस इज अवेलेबल व्हाई वेट फॉर टू डेज एग्जैक्टली टू बी ऑनेस्ट विद यू दैट इन रिगार्ड्स टू दिस स्टिल आई डोंट थिंक एनी कंपनी हैज कम अप विद दिस राइट नो देयर आर फूड एंड ग्रोसरीज हैपनिंग थ्रू स्विग इंस्टामार्ट एंड जेप्टो एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ तो अब ये होता है कि चिप्स पहले अगर आप अमेजोन से ऑर्डर कर लेते थे पैक ऑफ फाइव या पैक अब आप सेम चीज क्योंकि आपको एक दिन भी वेट नहीं करना आपको कोई चीज पंद्रह मिनट में मिल रही है तो आप स्विगी इंस्टा मार्ट से ऑर्डर कर लोगे अब कोई अगर मेरे को फॉर एग्जांपल फेस वॉश ऑर्डर करना है वो मैं अमेजोन से करूंगा बट अगर गिवन द प्रेफरेंस मैं वो भी इन्हीं ऐप से ऑर्डर करूंगा वेदर मैं कर रहा हूँ सो जस्ट टू टेस्ट इट आउट वेन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट केम ब्लिंकेट और आई डोंट रिमेम्बर इट वॉज ब्लिंकेट और जेप्टो माई डैड ही डेंट बिलीव कि दस मिनट में वो डिलीवरी करेगा सो ही जस्ट डाउनलोडेड दी ऐप एंड ही सेट ओके लेट मी टेस्ट ही ऑर्डर अ फोर रुपीज का रिन का साबुन एंड द गाई वॉज एट द डोर एट दी एट्थ मिनट ही वॉज शॉक एंड इन द इवनिंग आई वॉज सिटिंग विद एंड ही वॉज लाइक Uh, I am shocked that what these guys are achieving. Hmm. Uh, they are trying. I don't know if they are solving a problem right now or no. I did not have a problem. <laughs> But exactly. Now you are making me hooked to it so much. Exactly. Now the the whole thing with Zomato got ten minute delivery also. मुझे नहीं चाहिए दस मिनट में पोहा या ब्रेड ऑमलेट मुझे नहीं चाहिए ये मुझे भरोसा ही नहीं होगा वो बना भी बना भी है नहीं है लेकिन अगर एक बार सक्सेस हो गया अगर मेरे को आदत डल गई तो वाई नॉट क्या पता मैं ऑफिस पहुंचाऊँ मेरे पास टाइम नहीं है मैंने फटाफट जाके वहाँ ऑर्डर करा खाया और खत्म हो गया या मैं एक सुबह ब्रेकफास्ट के लिए लेट हो रहा हूँ तो मैंने ऑर्डर कर लिया एक्जैक्टली बिहेवियरल चेंज है हाँ ठीक है सो दिस दिस इज वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू अचीव दिस इज वॉट दीज ब्रांड वॉन्ट टू अचीव यू डू अ बिहेवियरल चेंज आई बी एट द बिगिनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ इट एंड बी द क्रिएटर ऑफ दैट सो If you have this behavioral change ना पहले क्या होता था अच्छा चाबी मेरी अगर आपके घर पर रह गई तो आई विल कम बैक टू मोरो एट योर प्लेस एंड गेट दैट की वी फास्ट करवा लो हाँ वी फास्ट करा लो सो एग्जैक्टली कि पंद्रह मिनट में पहुंच जाएगी आप घर के बाहर वेट करो मैं भिजवा भिजवा रहा हूँ ठीक है सो इट दिस सीनारियो हैज चेंज कभी कभी डर लगता है टैक्स से मुझे तो बहुत लगता है यार सच बताओ तो मेरे को पर्सनली डर टेक्स से ऐसा नहीं लगता सिर्फ एक एक स्टेटमेंट मुझे आई आई मीन टेक आई जस्ट डोंट मीन डिजिटली आई मीन टेक्नोलॉजी इन एग्जैक्ट जनरल सो आई डोंट नो इफ यू हैव सीन वीडियोस ऑन यूट्यूब देयर इज अ कंपनी कॉल्ड बॉस्टन रोबोटिक्स ओन्ड बाय गूगल आई डोंट नो दिस स्टिल ओन इट नो बट दे एक्वायर्ड दैट बिजनेस दे हैव मेड रोबोट्स व्हिच आर ऑलमोस्ट डूइंग एवरीथिंग अ ह्यूमन कैन व्हिच इज स्कैरी Okay. which is and i think the team of the boston robotics itself is scared of what they create <laughs> so uh, so what rajnikanth did 15 years back exactly. is coming coming back <laughs> so this and then one statement i remember elon was saying that ai should be banned from warfare huh. i think that is absolutely right. true right yeah yeah for sure uh, if it comes to that position that um, this small a fly or a microbe uh, which is actually uh, 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 technological hardware can actually enter your body and kill you uh, which is 100% possible exactly 100% possible so Good. you should be scared to death that uh, if somebody hates you they can do anything to you <laughs> what what is your take on uh, brands not just the upcoming brands uh, amazon to kharch kai raha hai karta hi hai dawa ke jisko yeah. beat karna hi mushkil hota hai what do you think of generally brands today these whole startups स्पेंडिंग सो so, जैसे अभी अपने हमने जोमैटो की ही बात करी है स्विगी की ये पैसा कब कमाना शुरू करेंगे सो <laughs> so, uh, अगर आप सच्चाई देखो जोमैटो पैसा कमा रहा है जोमैटो स्विगी आई एम नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर कि वो प्रॉफिटेबल है या नहीं है हो सकता है ऑपरेशनली हो भी आई डो नॉट कमेंट ऑन दैट बट दे विल मेक मनी बट द वे दीज गाइज मेक मनी आर इन माइक्रो ट्रांचेज सो फॉर एवरी ऑर्डर दे से मेक लेट से दे मेक अबाउट फाइव रुपीज एंड दे आर डूइंग 60 million orders a month oh. they make volumes up, okay. exactly so volume but small pieces of every uh, uh, transaction but uh, if i talk about brands who are competing with say the likes of amazon etc or the, there are d2c brands who don't want to go on amazon there are brands who say they i i talk to a lot of brands why is the reason why is the reason they think that amazon is a goliath who's going to eat them up uh, i try to explain them that 
it already exists if you think it's a goliath it already, already exists yes so it is you it have is. to face it exactly yeah. so it is going to compete with you even if it's your own brand mm-hmm. uh, for example let's talk about uh, best and better bite and you want to do a dtc uh, and you have your products available on amazon also so amazon is going to bid for your brand keyword also ha ha right and it's trying to uh, going to try and take the topmost position okay right uh-huh. so uh, it's okay you will get a sale from there maybe not that much profitable as it could have been on your own or website. website of course uh, but, but it's also given giving the reach yes it is so i tell brands to consider amazon as actually that reach that marketing platform yeah for sure that's why i am doing uh, exactly. with best and better but because i know it's going to give me a platform that is already set exactly so that reach already is there about 48 percent to about a 48 or 52 percent of the people in the in the country uh, directly go to uh, the ones who shop online directly go to amazon and search for the product yeah for so, sure uh, i think in the us also this is a similar metric or a higher than this metric i mean i don't go on google nowadays to search for a product, product exactly. i go on amazon same here <laughs> so that's what the behavior is so you have to be there as a brand Oh. and uh, actually you will have to compete if you want to survive and scale and be a holistic approach brand yeah. now because of amazon uh, you are available and if they are doing the delivery you are available say even in andaman nicobar island yeah right oh. so uh, at certain point they are doing deliveries there oh. or in the far north east where there was never a delivery they are doing there right. so they are giving me the reach that exactly. i want exactly and also so i have so many uh, uncles and aunties especially you know nowadays you go out they, you tell them about your brand or wo sabse pehle yahi kehte hai ki ye amazon pe available hai ha matlab tab lagta hai ki ye kitna zaruri hai amazon pe hona bilkul hai matlab mere sath bahut hota hai so my family and extended part of it never used to understand what i do <laughs> explaining them ki matlab tum karte kya ho matlab computer pe bech rahe ho kya kar rahe ho matlab kisi aur ke liye bech rahe ho apne liye bech rahe ho they, they don't understand it and uh, I, i think that's fine and uh, i did try to explain them that aapko ads newspaper mein dikhti hain fir aap ye khareedne jate ho market mein bas ab ye market mein jaane ki jagah aapko device pe dikh raha hai ha ye aapko wo brand yahan dikh rahi hai us brand ki packaging aapko aisi achhi kyun lag rahi hai right so uh-huh. i used to have those conversations with my nana ji and uh, some of my family members but it became very difficult to explain them but aaj ki rate mein what happened like post covid my mother also started buying groceries online post covid everything changed exactly post covid that behavior changed ab aap ghar pe baithe ho device pe dekh rahe ho ad aa gayi ya fir aapne aise hi dekh liya amazon khol ke amazon fresh pe bhi aapko 2 ghante mein Uh, grocery aa jayegi ha so that behavior change now my mother who's a senior citizen above the age of 62 and is buying groceries there this was a massive shift of my mindset also towards uh. her that okay she's doing that uh. so this was amazing to see and then uh, this continued see so she is actually uh, going through uh, certain apps uh, after this she found OTP, she found Swiggy, Instamart, she found Zepto, <laughs> so अब सब कुछ online exactly. Coming to my next part, uh, what do you think? जो social media influencing, जो लोग जो company social media influencers को इतने vast scale पे use कर रहे हैं, hmm. other than branding, right? डी यू थिंक पहली चीज़ तो क्या ब्रांडिंग के अलावा उसको कोई यूज़ है क्योंकि मैंने बहुत लोगों से सुना है स्टार्टअप फाउंडर से कि यार उसको एक रील बनाने के पचास हज़ार रुपये दे दिए कुछ भी तो नहीं हुआ एंड ऑल्सो माई सेकेंड माई सेकेंड क्वेश्चन राइट वॉट अबाउट द इन्फ्लेटेड नंबर्स डैट वी आर गेटिंग टू सी ऑफ दी सोशल मीडिया स्टार्स फ्रॉम यूट्यूब एंड इंस्टाग्राम वेयर a person with say 6 7 million subscribers on youtube mm-hmm. asks for 30 lakh rupees for a 40 second clip in his video yeah so what do you think <laughs> so these influencers have become the uh, celebrities of today's modern age mm-hmm. uh, especially for people who are uh, extremely young uh, children as well as uh, up to the age of 18 or so mm-hmm. so if you see characters like um, uh who are influencing children there are uh, children youtube channels for sure uh, and by the way the children youtube channels because i have two kids in my house they are all upwards of like 50 50 million subscribers exactly with a billion views on almost every of their videos exactly so th- these guys are great at what they're doing uh they have a massive reach and 
children once they decide that i want something they want to be after the lives of their parents that i want the same thing only so changing a behavior or a mindset at that point of time is uh, awesome to achieve uh, but it could also be harmful now uh-huh. Uh-huh. right you don't want the kid to see that but he or she is seeing that now a character like carrie minati uh, he has achieved a lot but uh, I think certain parents don't His like... His audience is different. Yes, the parents don't, don't like, like him because yeah. he abuses yeah, a lot yeah, and yeah. what are my kids learning? There's nothing of value. Mm-hmm. But still, uh, I think he's giving that some kind of an attachment to his audience that a lot of people follow him, mm-hmm. which is fine. Uh, Relatability, they see this. I exactly, mean. possible. And he was one of the first ones to do to that. Do, yeah. uh, then there are uh, certain individuals who have a good following and then they... Now, joining these two parts that they're asking for a lot, this... i think is um, something that the market has done to them that they there are brands who are paying that yeah they uh, are for sure. right and uh, what it does is basically if i know a certain audience now for example f- uh, imagine me having a long beard and a uh, crazy amount of hair on my head and i am endorsing a product which is for hair growth hair growth beard oil or whatever exactly so uh, you are going to believe in me and if i have a massive audience i am more likely to connect Huh, huh. right so that connection is what these brands are seeking huh, 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 how well do you connect with them uh, and an uh, individual say uh, on instagram um, i uh, there is masoom meena wala yeah. uh, she was th- yeah, yeah whatever she's done I mean, yeah, amazing, this, yeah it's great it's great yeah. and uh, she charges for it which is fine there are brands who are paying for it uh, there are brands who would want to be a part or take a part of her audience but can't afford it yes for sure right so uh, it is a balance game wherein uh, supply and demand uh, wala part of it so okay. jo uh, supply is and demand meet hogi wahan pe match ho jayega nahi hogi theek hai either you can't supply or the influencer is going to reduce their cost for it ha 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 right but everybody wants to make more money so they want to experiment for it but i personally feel if i look at two examples for example if today if i go to luke kutinu who's on instagram he's like followed by all the health conscious people and everything right he has his reach if he says ki ye aata khana hai hmm. to uski audience wo aata khayegi right main agar wahan ja ke usko 2 lakh rupaye de raha hu apna product promote karne ke liye to wo justified hai राइट ठीक है लेकिन अगर मैं किसी फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं आ, किसी एक्स वाई जी जी यूट्यूबर के पास जा रहा हूँ या इंस्टाग्राम के पास जिसकी ऑडियंस अलग ही है जो गेमिंग वीडियोस बनाता है फॉर एग्जांपल राइट तो वहाँ पे मेरे को पता है कि मेरे को इससे कन्वर्जन्स नहीं आनी मेरी ब्रांडिंग और रीच बढ़नी है मेरे को ऐसा लग, लगता है कि मजोरिटी कंपनीज जिस तरीके से फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे मामा अथ ने करा उन्होंने हर किसी बड़े इन्फ्लुएंसर को अपना प्रोडक्ट भेज दिया hmm. मेरे को ऐसा लगता है मोर देन कन्वर्जन उनका वो है कि हमारी ब्रांडिंग हो राइट तो आई थिंक दैट प्लेज अ बिगर रोल जो मैंने आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा था ना कि क्या रील्स या इन सब से आपकी कन्वर्जन होती है मुझे लगता है वो बहुत कम होती है देखो अगर आप जैसे आप बोल रहे हो दैट इफ वी मैच की जो मेरी ऑडियंस जो मैं प्रोडक्ट बेचना चाह रहा हूँ और जो उस इन्फ्लुएंसर की ऑडियंस है वो अगर दोनों मैच कर रही हैं तो सेल्स भी आ जाती हैं हाँ तब आ जाती है एंड आप क्या करो उसी वीडियो को एक प्रमोशनल राइट्स लेकर उस पर कैंपेन चलाओ।, चलाओ और सिमिलर ऑडियंस का और बेटर वर्जन ढूंढते जाओ सो हाईली लाइकली दैट दे रिलेट उस इन्फ्लुएंसर की भी फॉलोइंग बढ़ती है बट यू ऑल्सो शो अ ट्रस्टेड सोर्स ऑफ मैसेज एंड यू आर केपेबल ऑफ सेलिंग यूजिंग दैट वॉट से ब्रांड लाइक मामा अर्थ डेट वॉज मामा अर्थ इज मोर ऑफ अ वेरी मासी ब्रांड Huh, they huh. Uh, from the age of say uh, 13 14 if somebody can use their products uh, even babies can yeah. uh, to the adulthood they are catering to everybody huh. so they wanted the name mama earth to be on everybody's mouth that which is why they did which they did they, so they didn't only target the bigger influencers they did many micro yeah, yeah. They, macro i i saw uh, youtubers with 40k followers 30k followers 50k followers promoting mama mama exactly yeah. so uh, there the so this is now if you see that their distribution was set up the online piece and then the offline piece as well hmm. and then they did this kind of an activity this is a mass branding uh, so again the whole 360 degree ka wo exactly. com- complete ho jata hai so अब आप इसको देखना चाहते हो जैसे इसका अगर एग्जांपल देखना है गो टू ट्रेंड्स डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम चूज द कंट्री इंडिया टाइप मामा अर्थ एंड यू कैन सी अ ग्राफ हाउ थिंग्स एट व्हाट पॉइंट दे स्टार्टेड टू चेंज अच्छा एंड व्हेन यू स्टार्ट सीइंग दैट ग्राफ यू विल फिगर आउट दैट एट सर्टेन मंथ इन सर्टेन ईयर थिंग्स स्टार्टेड टू मूव अपवर्ड्स 
suddenly they started to move upwards hmm. now this maps the organic uh, searches in organic all of that and gives you a chart of a structure that okay the name of this brand or these search terms are going high the searchability is going high hmm so you will be able to see those trends and you will be able to figure out okay this is the time when they actually did something massive uh, and bahar se everything started changing yes uh, also i feel uh, i the, even more with this conversation i realize ki if you use your uh, you know the whole channel correctly exactly. with the use of data i have seen companies that use data to do everything that they do from the product that they create to the ad that they get out to the influencer that they target right are always successful definitely for sure all right pranit thank you so much it was great talking to you oh, it was awesome L- to be here lot of learning and i hope lot of people who are watching this get to know about whatever we, we have spoken and increase their knowledge about branding d2c and everything that is happening in this new world that we are entering in yeah absolutely thank you so much for having me thank you so much